All right, so today is Foundation Friday. This is where we try out a new foundation every single Friday on my channel, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Today we're gonna be testing a brand new foundation launch from Revlon. It's their Photo Ready Candid Glow Moisture Glow Anti-Pollution Foundation. I have the lightest shade 110. I bought this on Amazon because I think it first launched on Amazon and I wanted to get it quickly so I could review it for you guys. And I paid like 10 bucks or something on Amazon. Now everywhere it's between like $4.99 and $6. You can get it for $4.99 on Target and then on Ulta they slash the price to $5.97 because I think Target had it cheaper. So you can get this pretty cheap now. It comes in 31 shades which is pretty good for the drugstore. Like if we're thinking a couple years ago, I feel like most drugstore foundations launched with around 10 shades, so the fact that this launched with 31 shades right off the bat is pretty good. It says it's a skincare-inspired foundation that's ultra-blendable, ultra-buildable, and infused with antioxidants, anti-pollution, and anti-blue light ingredients. It doesn't have any oils, parabens, synthetic dyes, or fragrances, so I love that there's a drugstore fragrance-free foundation. That's amazing. Medium buildable coverage, natural finish. But if you enjoy Foundation Friday videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. I have a whole Foundation Friday playlist down below where I have lots and lots and lots of foundation reviews. Okay, so it is 7.52 in the morning when we're starting this. I keep looking up now because I have this other light and I keep thinking it's the camera. You guys are right there. I've got my giant coffee cup that's bigger than my entire head. So it says medium buildable coverage, natural finish, and I have the lightest shade. By the way, my eyebrows are tragic right now. I haven't been able to pluck them because every time I pluck my eyebrows, I sneeze and I can't be sneezing right now. The whole nose situation. Oh, it's pretty thick. Let's start out with the brush side first and go in. Doesn't have a scent. So I added this tiny little light so that hopefully the finish is more accurate. Looks like very light coverage off of that. As you can see, it kind of like toned down some of my redness, but you can still see everything. It looks like my skin, which is good if you just want something like basically a tint and moisturizer. It does look very natural. Can't really tell I have anything on my skin. So maybe we just need to build this one up to get medium coverage like they say. Yeah, super light coverage. Okay. I used up that one pump on half my face already, so I'm gonna go in with the sponge on the other side. By the way, last night, bad idea, Taylor, bad idea. I tried to put in my nose ring. Mm, took about an hour, was not fun feeling. Finally got it through, and then it started feeling like, I don't know, just like not right. So I Googled it, and it was like, yeah, don't put in piercings until after three months after surgery, or talk to your doctor, so. Uh, I'm gonna ask my doctor about it, but I just took it out right after, so that was a fun hour. Looking very light coverage. I think I like the brush side better. It's looking even lighter coverage on this side, or maybe I just had a little bit more, like, redness. So I'm gonna add some more, since it does say it's buildable, and just see if it is. I'm gonna spread this to this side as well. Whenever I build a foundation, I don't usually like to bring it everywhere. I just like to bring it where I need that extra coverage on my cheek area right here. I like the shade, like looking at my neck, the shade matches pretty well. In Revlon Colorstay, 110 is too light. I think I'm 112. Okay, sorry if I can't like fully <laughs> cover my nose. Off of those two layers, I definitely would call this a sheer foundation or almost even like more of a tinted moisturizer. Even with the two layers, it did cover my redness a tiny bit more, but I mean, barely. So just as far as their claims, I definitely don't agree. I don't think it's medium coverage at all, but it does look nice. I like that there's like a subtle glow coming through and it doesn't look like it's clinging anywhere between my eyebrows so far. So it's sitting nicely on top of my skin, which is what I look for if I'm going to do like sheer or light coverage, because typically if I was wearing a foundation like this, I would wear no other makeup and I would just want it to look like I don't have makeup on. Like I might put on some brow gel and like a lip gloss, but that's it. And I would just want it to look like I'm literally not wearing makeup, but have like some of my redness covered. A lot of more sheer kind of products you can still see on your skin. And then it kind of like defeats the purpose because you can tell you're wearing makeup. So I do like how it's looking right now, just as far as what I was expecting and the claims. I don't feel like it really is, is that, you know? Let's do the rest of my makeup. So right now it is 802. Wow, I did that pretty quick. Okay, I feel like the lighting right now is looking pretty good. I don't know, you guys let me know down below. It's always so difficult. And also, by the way, 
<laughs> on the same video, it'll be like split sometimes. So I think it really depends on the device you're on and the brightness, like on your phone, if your brightness is turned way up or way down or something. So just keep that in mind. It's never going to look like perfect and the same across what everyone's seeing. The other thing is that my skin is pretty white, so there's not a whole lot I can do with that. You know what I mean? But anyways, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, so now it is 8.25. The rest of my makeup is on. The check-in time, we're going to call it 8 o'clock since that's when I finish up with my face makeup. The bronzer I used got a little bit wild, so I was trying to, like, tone it down with some powder. So I do have a little bit of powder just on my cheeks. But I didn't put powder anywhere else since I typically don't. My skin looks much better without powder. I do feel like around here looks, like, a little bit patchy, but I think that's just, like, a combo of the concealer I used, which was a little bit too light, and then, like... The bronzer situation happening so I don't really think that's the foundation. I like how it's looking on my forehead again for just like very light coverage but I like that it's glowy and it just looks like my skin. I can't really like see the foundation clinging anywhere. For the makeup on the rest of my face I use the Physicians Formula Glow Face Palette. It's like a limited edition trio here. I use the highlight, blush, and bronzer on my face today and then I also put a little bit of this into the crease and then this is what's on my inner corner and it looks really pretty on the inner corner. And then for the rest of my eyeshadow, I use the Too Faced Ginger Red Spice Palette. I've been loving this. They just blend out so nicely. And then for lips, I used Kim KW by Charlotte Tilbury. It's my first Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, I'm pretty sure. I actually got this on Glambot, so I got it like super cheap. Feels really nice, and I like the color. It's like a nice peachy color. Shirt, by the way, is from Walmart, and I got it for like nine bucks, eight bucks, something like that wild. All my makeup, jewelry, shirt, everything, nail polish, rings, everything is always linked down below in the description box. But let's go do a shot in natural lighting and we'll do a flash test. Okay, so it is extremely dark and like gloomy out today. So I am literally right in front of the window so we can get the most light possible. So you can see it's not like overly dewy, but there's definitely a little bit of a glow. It says it's a natural finish and I would agree, definitely looks like a natural finish. Okay, whoa, my bronzer is so intense today. Sorry about that. Looks like it's starting to crease a tiny, tiny bit on my upper lip. Not bad. Looks pretty good around here. Yeah, overall, just looking at it, I think it looks nice right now. We will see how this one works throughout the day, but let's do a flash test. Flash, I feel like it looks really good. Doesn't look like there's any kind of bounce back at all. If anything, it's just like my under eye powder that looks a little bit bright. But as far as the foundation, it actually looks a little bit darker than my neck there, which is funny. In real life, it doesn't I feel like it looks like it matches fine. Oh, I'll see you guys back in natural lighting in a few hours for the next check-in. Okay, so it is now 12.36, so it's been on for about four and a half hours. And starting to feel not great, so I'm hoping we can make it through this video to make. This is the first time I'm looking at it in a mirror. I have an eyelash. For being so sheer, I still have creasing on my upper lip, but everything else looks good. My forehead looks good. I still like the amount of glow. It just looks very natural. So you can see the creasing a little bit right there, but I think overall, still looking nice. So we are doing good, folks. Looking good. I'll see you guys at the end of the night. Okay, so it is now 4.47, so the foundation's been on for about nine hours. I do feel like it looks pretty funky just like I think it's just the concealer having like a full coverage concealer with like a super sheer foundation never goes well for me so I probably should have just done like no makeup makeup today but other than that see how we're looking by the way this mirror I literally can't clean these things are like stuck on there it is wiped down and clean even though it does not appear that it is but looking at my face I definitely look a little bit shiny now like around my nose and then I don't mind this level of dew on my forehead but for some people I think it would be too much, but I definitely look a little bit shiny in certain parts of my face. Overall, for nine hours, it's held up pretty well for just a, like, no makeup makeup kind of look. I don't think I would wear this one with eye makeup. I would just wear it with, like, like I said, focus. Like I said, brow gel and lip gloss or something. If I just wanted to use it to cover up some of my redness, I w did have to, like, lay down for a little bit, and I had an ice pack right here, so... I think it has rubbed off a bit right there. I didn't touch it all right here and it looks like it's kind of rubbed off right there. And then this side I wasn't laying on. So maybe I had my hand there or something. It definitely looks like it's rubbed off in certain parts. So is this like a life changing product that you need? I don't think so. If you like super sheer foundations you might really like this one. I do think I'll try it and wear it again just on no makeup makeup days. I could see myself liking this especially like mixed in with something or maybe mixed in with my like essence primer the fresh and awake I think that could look really nice 
but I probably wouldn't wear this for like a full day kind of thing. I'd probably only have it on for like a few hours running errands anyway. Let me know what you guys think if you tried this foundation. If you enjoy Foundation Fridays, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.